Hi right, guys, uh, on today's video, we're looking at VAX50 index on the daily chart. And then as you can see here, we have been pushing to the upside around this point here. And then you can illustrate that by seeing that we have a higher low here, a higher high, and we have a higher high, a higher low. So as you can see at this area here, we have some imbalanced price action of which this can be our target around this area here. And then also at the top of the structure, we have some imbalanced price action around this area here. So we can look forward to getting like those buying opportunities up until this point or this point around here. So looking left, you'll see that we have this area here of demand as our inflection point whereby the market reacted very nicely around this area. And then we had our first break of structure around this area here and then our second break of structure of which is this one here so now we can look forward to seeing like getting like uh buying opportunities on the lower time frame so we can just switch to a four hour time frame and see if we can get like some entries and try to refine like some uh, areas so let's try and see if we can just get like some refined zones around here as you can see, this is a larger zone. I'll just refine it to this candlestick here, this uh, blue candlestick here, of which this is our refined area. And then you can see that we tapped very nicely in this area. And then we had our first break of structure, of which is this one here. After breaking the structure, we had this as our last candle, of which we tapped the supply area, and then we pushed to the upside. And then looking to looking at this area also i'll just refine it to this uh, gray candle as you can see this is the last candle that broke structure and then at the top of the structure as you can see i'll just refine it to this area here so we have some imbalanced price action at the top we have this one here we have this one also around this area so now we are looking at this overall market structure around here so for us to get like those buying opportunities, we have to break structure around this area. And then as you all know, we can treat the substructure for us to get like those break of structures around this area here. And then we get like some uh, supply area, demand area for us to break structures. And then we buy here and then we look forward to, get, to getting like our take profits around here or at the overall larger area of which is at the top of which is this one here whereby this can be the last candle that broke structure and then we look for those buying opportunities so let's look at the hour chart and see if we can get like something that we can use or trade like the substructures so on the hour chart this is the price action that we have and then as you can see here the price action or the market reacted to this uh, supply area here to this demand area sorry we have this demand area whereby the market tapped very nicely and then we can have like that high point that i was talking about here and we can trade like the substructure as i said so as you can see on the substructure we have this higher low lower low higher high higher low higher high higher low so this is the area whereby the market firstly broke structure on the substructure and then this is the last candle that broke structure. But you can see it like on the lower time frame that this is the area that broke structure for us to get like this uh, demand area. And then we have another break of structure in this substructure of which is here. And then the last candle that broke structure would be this area here. And then as you can see, we had this impulsive break. And then this is the break of structure or the BOS. And then we have the OB around this area. So what are you expecting? At this moment, we expect the market to initially push back to the downside, and then we can get like uh, some selling opportunities from this push to the downside for us to get like the tap from the demand area. And then our stop loss can be just below this area. But if you are into uh, uh, the safe side when you're trading, you can just, as you can see, this one here has already been tapped which means this is not the area that we can use, but we can use this one. And then if you are into like uh, 
low risk entries or confirmed entries what you can wait for is for the market to clearly push to the downside and after tapping this area you wait for a break of structure come back retest and then you look for that buy so this is the break of structure that you'll be looking for for a confirmed entry break of structure here just like this and then you have your first ob and then you get like that uh, confirmed entry your stop loss is just below this area or this area and then you are targeting the overall imbalanced price action that i was talking about on the higher time frame this is the 10 percent movement and then this is the overall move that you can be looking forward to taking of which it will be a 1 to 24 like this so this is the overall move that i'll be waiting for on vex 50 index and I hope you get like nice entries from this uh, nice setup that I shared with you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. So let me just refine this area also, just to make sure that everything is nice, guys. This is the area that we are looking forward to taking as our take profit. And then the arrow just signals that we are not imbalanced. We are not balanced in this area here. This is inefficient price action. And then at the top of the structure also, this is the last candle of which this is inefficient price action also. And then I can just use like an arrow. And then just to save time, just because we don't have like templates that we can save like on draft, whereby I'll just uh, point out that this is the, an IMB or an imbalance. And also there's an imbalance or break of structures. Uh, I'm just saving time. So as you all know, that signals a break of structure. This is the uh, demand area that we are looking forward to buy on the previous trade. And then this is the area, OB area. We get we got a nice tap. We got the break of structure. Come back, tap the area, we buy. Same scenario, break of structure, come back and tap this area. And then we look for continuations to the upside. And then this is the substructure. Don't forget, this is the substructure. And then this is the larger structure here. This is the larger structure. And then, yeah, I'll see you on another video, guys.